Okay, these are new Alden 403 Chrome Excel Indie Boots, dark brown. They were supposed to be here yesterday, but they got mixed up with another pair. So these are the right ones. Alden had these overnighted from their factory in Middleborough. And they arrived next day here with a complimentary pair of free cedar shoe trees. And these are my original uh, natural Chrome XL uh, indie boots I got about six years ago with the original shoe trees in them. That's the natural Chrome XL color. These are my last crusade boots. And these are going to be my Raiders boots. And there's my Raiders hat. Raiders jacket and Last Crusade hat. So these are the shoe trees, size XL. So these are 12 and a half shoes. original shoe trees. Those are circa 2000, so they're over 20 years old. Or circa, uh, yeah, 2000. These are the brand new ones. Mm, they smell so nice. <laughs> smell like fresh chopped trees. Okay, so Alden 403, 12 and a half feet. It's hard doing this one handed. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna. Here they are. Oh. They look beautiful. <laughs> Here's the bags they come in. Keeping storage bags. Color is very actually very close to the um, the brick red color of the '90s Aldens, the original ones that I got like 20, 20 some odd years ago. Sort of a rich burgundy color. That is quite a difference. It's the same type of leather, Horween Chrome Excel, but it's uh, stained very deep burgundy dark brown compared to the natural natural tan variety which is more of a uh, caramel color I'd say oh god they smell amazing <laughs> I love the smell of new leather classic indie profile The inside is made of a uh, very nice soft glove leather, sort of an orange, orangey color, almost a burnt sienna. Whereas the original ones have like a natural, like a white, a white texture on them. And here is the Alden Seal, Alden of New England. 
And then if you turn them over in here, Goodyear Welt Construction, Ginger Leather Insoles, Alden, Made in USA. These ones here actually, you can't see it inside under here, but it's the original ones. I got them directly from the uh, Alden shop of San Francisco. And inside the bottom, they're actually branded. This little, a little worn now. Uh, Alden shop of San Francisco inside. But the footbed's the same if you look at them. Have the darker color leather inside the footbed. This one's the cream color that matches the rest of the surroundings, and this one's also complimentary. But the base footbed is the same kind of beige uh, leather. I think it's leather, I'm not sure. And the original pair, it's got the information stamped on here 12 and a half D width. 405578, which is the model style of the light chrome cells, and the dark chrome cells are stamped are stamped here because it's kind of hard to see. Twelve and a half D style 403, and that's the serial number, I guess. This. 9D27074 or 6. And the inside of the back has a single a single seam where the lining is stitched up together. Just like these here. Now this is one thing where I actually miss on the original the original Aldens from the 80s, the ones that were used in the in the Indiana Jones movies and later were sold through the 90s was they had the um the soft cotton duck fabric lining inside the back and they had canvas canvas lining in the bottom but the company that manufactured the cotton duck fabric went out of business um, about 10 years ago or so and they were also somewhere in New England and after that was discontinued because they couldn't get the fabric anymore Alden switched to using the uh, glove leather lining for all their indie boots um, from that point forward so so the age of uh, fabric lined Aldens is gone and if you have a pair of those you're very lucky because they are super comfortable extremely soft and they, they fit nicely around your heel and, and the back of your foot and and uh, these here they're, they're a tad bit roomier inside because it doesn't have the thick lining so you have to wear thicker socks when you put them on and so they're, they're a tad bit a tad bit uh, um, looser, I guess you might say. But if you, if you wear thicker socks, you, it, it'll offset the um, it'll offset the effect. This is these are really nice though. These are amazing. And the bottom has the uh, orthopedic True Balance heel, called the Thomas heel, for the guy that invented it back in the. 17 whatever hundreds or something and These are brand new of course So there's that And then on the other one exact same heel If you put them together they're both 12 and a half D width boots. It's the exact same length. So what a difference. I mean, wow. Just the details amazing. The stitching, the quality of the stitching. These are these are like I said. These are very very similar in color to the original '90s Alden boots that were the the burgundy or brick red color we called it. 
So it's, it's almost like it's almost like the same color, basically. <laughs> Except the leather, the leather is different. And what I read online, the difference in the leathers is the original indie boots made out of um, what they call dark brown. They called it wax hide. I'm not sure what it was. Probably some kind of a type of cow. And this is also cow skin, I believe. But the process of manufacturing the um, Chrome Excel Horween leather is uh, very time consuming. It takes like a month to make it, to process it from start to finish. And it involves um, tanning the leather and stuffing it with a lot of grease and oil. So it's really, uh, really soft and supple. It feels kind of, kind of, kind of waxy, kind of not greasy, but waxy. It feels really substantial, and uh, it has an interesting pattern when it, as it ages, it wrinkles fairly easy. You crinkle it up, and it, it has, it displays wrinkles a lot easier than the original, the original standard indie boot leather. And um, yeah, it's, this is super, super quality. This is amazing. And this is like premium quality leather, and this is why it costs more. And the difference is, of course, as they time goes on, they, they cost more money. These natural chrome Excel boots were about five hundred and fifty dollars six years ago, and of course now these aren't even on, on Alden's website anymore. You, can, you can't buy them from them, but you can buy them from other places like Shoe Mart. Um, whereas the dark brown chrome Excel, these here. Uh, currently cost five hundred and seventy-five dollars, um, which is what I paid for them last week when I ordered them. So I ordered them last Sunday, and I got them today, which is Saturday. And uh, so the the price has gone up for the Chrome Excels, the leather type of leather, I guess, because of you know the process and what it costs. But absolutely, it's absolutely worth it. It's not it's not cheap, but it shouldn't be. You know, when you pay for quality, and that's what you get. So. So I think they're absolutely worth every penny, especially for an Indiana Jones fan who wants the original, authentic boot from the original maker. So uh, I am extremely happy with these. And Alden does a fantastic job, as always, because they're the, they are the original. And, uh, you know, I mean, I love Wested Leather, but I don't, I don't like their, their copy of the Alden boots. It's just a, kind of a cheap knockoff, you know? So uh, I believe in going with the, going with the original, uh, if at all possible. So, so Indiana Jones boots in dark brown and natural chrome Excel leather. There they are, and they are absolutely amazing. I'm very happy.